When a Birkin bag costs as much as a house, many people with means can easily spend small fortunes amassing designer wardrobes. But when disaster strikes in the home, they can be surprised to find their insurance often doesn't cover the couture. Here with the story is WSJ fashion columnist Christina Binkley. Hi, Christina. Hi, Tanya. So you spoke with several people who had at least parts of their high-end wardrobes ruined at home, but their homeowner's insurance didn't cover the damage. Is that right? That is right. I, I don't want to think about moth infestations. Uh, after speaking to some of these people, I went shopping for a whole lot of bug traps for my own closet. Oh, my gosh. I can imagine. So in regards to clothing, what does a standard homeowner's insurance policy typically cover? Typically, they cover clothes as part of contents, which, you know, makes sense if most of your, your wardrobe comes from Banana Republic and is easily replaceable. Right. Um, but contents don't really describe Birkin handbags or Valentino haute couture, and those can be covered in terms of fire or theft and not a whole lot else. So what are some of the biggest home dangers potentially threatening those fancy clothes? As you said, moths, but what else can actually damage them? mold. It turns out that in cities like New York that have a lot of pre-war buildings, plumbing is bursting all the time. Tubs are overflowing. The people below get water damage and their, their, their very valuable clothes and handbags can start molding. Mold is a, actually a very big deal and, in New York City. And as we know, as you pointed out, a Valentino dress can cause, cost as much as a Rolex. So we're talking about big losses here, correct? It, it can be huge losses. I was talking to, to an insurer that, that uh, has a client with 150 Birkin bags stored in a room. Imagine that that's worth several houses. Oh nice my, houses. yes, very nice houses. And so now there are some companies very smartly stepping into this void, this insurance void. Yeah, you know, this is interesting. There's a, a, a private storage company called Guard Robe actually got this going. They started noticing their clients a little bit hysterical, including one who had, had a loss after, um, after a hur hurricane uh, in New York. And, um, and, and they, this Guard Robe went to AIG's private client group and said, you know, I think you're missing an opportunity here. There are people with vast collections that need insurance for it. And AIG has developed a couture insurance. They're calling it wearable collections policy hmm. that you can buy. That sounds fantastic. Now, many of us or uh, many of the viewers don't live in New York State. So what advice do you have for people who want to insure their wardrobes but don't have access to this kind of insurance? Well, one thing AIG did point out with me that, that many many of the world's wealthy people have some sort of a domicile in, in New York. So if you, <laughs> if you own a pied-a-terre, you're fine. <laughs> Good Texas point. Just, te Texas just approved this policy uh, uh, yesterday, I believe, and they're expecting the rest of the states to, to have it by the year end. But some of us don't actually want to spend the, that kind of money or aren't a, a, a private private insurer, uh, private client of an insurance company. Those of us who are like me, the first thing I went out to, I got, I got um, non-toxic bug traps for silverfish and moths. They are now throughout all the closets in my house. Um, I started looking at some of the recommendations that Guard Robe made to me. Breathable garment bags. Garment bags should never be plastic. That can create mold if something gets damp. Make sure that you have a de dehumidifier or climate control in your closet, particularly if it's a second home and you're not there part of the year, you, know, if you turn off the air conditioning systems, you can come, you know, come back to a bad surprise if you don't have climate control. Very smart. Now, what about folding versus hanging? Which one is better for our clothes? Well, it depends on the clothes, but if you have a bias cut silk dress, definitely fold it and use acid-free tissues in all the folds when you're, when you're putting it away. Things that are stretchy, if they're left hanging, may be permanently stretched when you come back. That can be a big problem for them. And Sweaters, for instance. Do you recommend specific types of hangers if you are hanging? Uh, avoid those metal hangers that a lot of dry cleaners use. They're, you know, we've all had the, 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 uh, the opportunity to put on a garment that is, has a sort of pokes at the, the shoulders from those. They can rust over time. They do all kinds of nasty things. There's beautiful, wonderful wood and plastic hangers out there that will do much better for your garments. Great advice, Christina. I'm running out after the show and buying bug traps. Thank you so much for that. <laughs>